there, this is Chelsea from Enterprise. Welcome to today's episode on adding service item details with Enterprise. In today's session, we will be learning how to add service items as well as categories and text codes of your service items. So let's get you started on this. Before we look at adding your service items, as part of the setup, you will be given the option to assign your service item to a category. A category is a way of grouping similar services together. For example, if you're in the business providing training services, you may want to itemize further and break them down into different categories such as online training, on-site training, etc. These categories are created under Settings, under Module Settings, under Categories. So once you have your categories set up, we can now move on to creating your new service item. Now you can add a new service item. So a service item is not an actual stock item, but rather services that your company provides that needs to be recorded on an invoice. So examples are labor, training, cleaning services, or maintenance, etc. So let's begin by creating our first service item. Click on new item. For item code, this is auto-generated by the system when you save the service item that you are creating. So all codes will begin with ITN followed by five digits. This is simply for recording purpose and not used for selection on your documents. Next, key in the description of your service item. This will then appear on selection on all your documents and will be displayed on your layouts. Select the category of your service item. Once this is done, key in or enter the selling price of your service. This will then automatically appear on your sales document, but can be changed while you are creating your document. Next will be purchase price. Enter your purchase price if relevant. This will also appear automatically on your purchase documents and can also be changed at the time of entry. This purchase price will also appear as a manual base cost on your sales document. Now let's fill in the taxes and accounting details. Under sales tax, select the sales tax code that applies to this service. This will then override the tax code selected on customer, but you still can change this at point of entry of your service invoice. The same for purchase tax. Select the purchase tax code that applies to this service. This will also override the tax code that you have applied on your supplier. But you can still change this at point of entry of your purchase document. Moving on to the right, under sales account and purchase account. Select the sales account and select the revenue turn or turnover GL account for posting this service to your finance. For purchase account, select the cost of sales or expense account for posting this service to your finance. Once this is completed, remember to click on save and we are now ready to create our first service invoice. If you require any support assistance, you can reach out to help.enterprise.com or just pop on to support on chat. Thank you for watching once again.